Big Nature's 4 at 7 here. And uh, a couple things. In the last video, I was and I was at that like uh, Pinnacle High Rise place, and we. Uh, I was going to see if there was anything else of value there. there. There wasn't really. I did some other kinds of exploring. Haven't yet found anything of particular interest. On uh, you, there's a place called the the something Terrace. It might be Skyway Terrace. Anyway, there's an Alpha. Well, it was Alpha when I when I was there. There's a death claw up there. Kind of climbs up. You gotta fight it. Nothing too serious. I found again that old uh, bookstore, thinking that there was gonna be some kind of like magazines or something in it. No, just a bunch of burnt books and stuff. Finally made it to Good Neighbor. I got the side quest for talking to Bobby. It's called the Big Dig. I don't actually know what it's about just yet. We'll probably do that one on screen. Uh, but I found I'm I'm here at Good Neighbor at the Memory Den. I just got Preston's perk for uh, for him idolizing me. It's a weird like affinity thing. And now I need to switch up, so I came here to get Nick. So. Hmm. Nick, let's go talk to Amari. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Well, aren't you tasty? I'm here. I'm here, Nick. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. I haven't done any of the other Brotherhoods of Steel like side questy bits yet. I think I'd record those. No. Kellogg's brain. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But that's weird. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize mm -hmm. that the memory simulators require intact living brains to function. Uh, please help us. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take hmm. a But no guarantees. Do you I like Amari. Her accent's awesome. Here you go. What I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is. This is. Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. Mm hmm. Not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Is Nick compatible? Nick's an older model synth. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would hmm. be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about right. me, Amari. Let's do it. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? <laughs> It'll be interesting. He's about to enter the matrix. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling anything? There's a lot of flashes. Static, I see. I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what hmm. I'm afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock mm -hmm. on the memories in the impact. Tell me to break it. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But 
What if we use stones? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your okay. functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Let's do it. Let's get started. That's actually really cool. And keep your fingers crossed. Okay. Oh, I'm sitting in this one. Right? All right. Oh, lordy. Please stand by. <laughs> Gotta enter the matrix. So, so do I just like watch the uh, watch TV here? Whoa! <clears throat> that is super cool, man. I like that a lot. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope to find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Oh, you in? Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, this is trippy. The ride the synapses up to this memory. You are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. Mm -hmm. Really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me you know, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <coughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. People are always hoping for something mm. better. Usually end up with something worse. Gotcha. Dad's the dad memory. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Okay. I don't know why mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. <laughs> huh. Uh People. And hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Nature at school said the NCL would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Okay. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop seeing you if that's what they're teaching you. Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. Connie? This is so well designed. I like this a lot. That's Kellogg's gun, but it's unmodified at this point. It's brand new 44 snub. Well, it's not snub nose here, but 44 pistol. This doesn't seem to be what they're looking for. 
There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Okay. Try that one. Sweet. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy. Wow. But, uh, <coughs> you don't really believe it. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking oh, look at the bridge. Nice. By comparison with what comes after. Okay, so I have a couple of memories here to access. That's what happiness felt like. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. Mm -hmm. That was the hot shit. The gunslinger from the hub. Rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. Huh. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. For a while. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub. Maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Mm -hmm. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You gotta give it a chance. I think she's gonna get sniped through the window. Maybe not. For the she? That'd be cool to have one that's in San Francisco. Maybe the next one. You never know. That is pistol. Yeah, this is modified pistol. Connie Kellogg. That this is so cool. I love this man. Where are we going? Where are we going? Do, 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 do. Pause. We're out of time for this video, guys. In the next one, we will continue perusing through Kellogg's memories. <laughs> yes. What will we tune up? Ah, we'll see. You